this was something that I saw someone else write in, and I have a personal story that relates. This is the quote. Quote, my ex just left one day out of the blue. I came home and all her stuff was gone. And this is this person's commentary. Ladies, if you hear this, run. Abusers know that they can't say my ex was crazy nowadays. This is the new version of it. The woman likely had to flee for safety. Her family members likely had to protect her after fleeing. There's a reason he couldn't find her after she left. That commentary is a very like serious one. But just the first quote, the like I came home one day and she was gone and all of her stuff was gone. I know someone that that happened to. And Mm. I heard the story from the boyfriend side first. I knew this girl for years. They broke up. I heard this story like months later. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. Like what happened? They said he just came home from work one day. They lived together and the apartment key was on the table. Like they shared a car and like the car was gone, like and all her stuff was gone. And turns out that she ran like she left him to go be with her physical therapist. And I was like, holy shit. Mm. But in my head, I'm like, but that doesn't sound like her. Like, I've known her for years. Like, that really does not sound like her. Doesn't sound like her to up and leave, one. Doesn't sound like her to cheat on her partner. Like, she's a very, like, stand-up woman. Like, very one of the classiest, like, most considered people I've ever met. And I was like, also, to leave him for somebody else, like, that seems odd. Like, maybe that part's true. Like, I don't know. Whatever. I see this girl... Months later, we're like, you know, we should get together and catch up. And I was like, what happened, dude? I heard this crazy story. Like, what happened? And she goes, we were drifting for months, for months at the end of our relationship. None of my needs are being met. The boyfriend did X, Y, and Z, all of these rude things, all these inconsiderate things. The car that they shared was actually her car. So it was 100% hers. Mm -hmm. She paid for it. Every single payment was hers. I'm sure she paid for the gas, too, because it was her car. And the boyfriend would just, just borrow it. She would drive them around all the time. Like, he just didn't have a car. He just was getting off like he was just lucking out from this. Mm -hmm. Every time that they went and visited their family, their friends went here for a weekend. She drove them. And then there was this one time where he was like going out with his friends and all of his friends had cars. They drove to like a shore town, like down for a day, like an hour there, hour back, like whatever. He just used her car. Didn't ask. It wasn't like they were like, yes, we are partners. It is our shared vehicle. No, it's her car. You're just taking liberties. Mm. Why didn't you just ask one of your friends to drive? Like that would be like me being like, yeah, let's all get on the shore. I'll take Jimmy's car. No, I won't. That's so rude. And then that was like just one of the disrespectful things he did. Every annoying thing in a relationship, this guy did it. Like didn't give her the time of day. Played video games with his friends when she was together. They would plan to hang out for a weekend. He would invite his friends over and spend the whole time with his friends. And she would just be there like in addition, you know, like Mm -hmm. just was not It was just not a good relationship for the past like months and months. And yes, they did live together. And she said, I am leaving. I'm going to move out. Okay. He didn't believe her. He's like, no, you're not. You're not going to move out. She's like, I am moving out. My name is on the lease. Like we both pay the rent. I'm going to move out. So you're going to stop receiving my rent payment. So you either need to end the lease. We can do that together or you can do it on your own. But I'm ending my portion of the lease and I'm going to stop paying after this month. She gave him the runaround. He literally didn't believe her. He didn't take her seriously. He's like, you are not moving out. Like, there's no freaking way that you're actually going to move out. So then one day she said, I am leaving tomorrow. My parents are driving up here with their cars. We're going to pack my stuff into my car and their cars and I'm leaving. I've talked to our landlord. I paid him for the next month and a half. I, t- I told him the whole situation. I told him we're breaking up and I- at least I am moving out. So you can either pay the entire rent or you have a month and a half. It might have even been more than that. She might have even given him because it was like the current month's rent she obviously paid so it was either one more full month or maybe even two two more full months she paid her share i thought that was fair i mean maybe there's something written into her lease that allowed her to do that like i don't know she gave him options whatever and he was like i guess maybe still didn't believe her he went to work the next day came home and her stuff was gone crazy yeah she said she did what she told you for months she was gonna do crazy and then I don't know where they got the physical therapist thing. I guess maybe they had still like corresponded a little bit after this because maybe they had a few more like details to square away after living together. I don't know. But somehow he found out that she was leaving him for her her physical therapist. I asked her about that. She said, no, I had gone to physical therapy because I think they had like gotten into a car accident together, like something that was his fault. Mm -hmm. She broke her foot. 
And so then she went to physical therapy. And so she had like resentment towards him, one, because of all of these other things. And the fact that one of the main reasons why she wanted to break up with him was because he didn't help her at all. He did not offer her any extra support when she couldn't walk because her foot was broken. And so that was another reason leading up to the end of the relationship that she's like, I have to, I'm breaking up with you and I'm leaving. So she was in physical therapy for the past, like, or the last few months of their relationship. And then she broke up with him, whatever. And I think he just assumed that she was leaving her. I, I don't remember exactly how it, how it came out, but I asked her about the physical therapist and she said, oh, yeah, he was like a youngish guy. So months and months after the breakup, it was when physical therapy was ending. She shot her shot with him and she was like, hey, I mean, you seem really great. If you ever want to like get drinks like you have my number, he never contacted her like she shot her shot with him in a very simple, casual way. And it never came of anything or nothing ever came of it. And the story that this guy went and told everyone in his life was that he got home one day, all of her stuff was gone, and she left him for the physical therapist. How did he even get the physical therapist idea? Like, that's so bizarre. I think it's because he wanted to blame anyone except himself. Yeah. He could not fathom the fact that he did anything wrong in this situation. And it was fully like her fault. She Mm -hmm. did it. She's evil. All this terrible thing. Like, I was like, after hearing all the details and knowing the guy and knowing her and the character. See, we talked about character earlier and how if someone does something for years and years and years and then they act out of character one time, probably not who they are. It was very in his character to do all those things. It was very in her character to do all the things that she was telling me so i believed every detail that she told me Mm -hmm. that's why context is so important Mm -hmm. like when you hear things like this yeah that's i feel like a lot of times even when we read like the reddit stories we rather than like commenting we have like more questions than like yeah comments on it you know what i mean because you really like don't know what other people are going through like behind the scenes you know what i mean yeah but i mean it sounds like thank god that girl got out of there especially if he's like full like a full-blown liar like it sounds like he doesn't want to confront the type of person that he is yeah you know what i mean I honestly think that like knowing him, I think what happened was he was very like sure of himself. And then this relationship started like going downhill. And because he was sure of himself, he's like, oh, well, it can't be my fault. Like, there's no way it's my fault. Like, I'm doing everything fine. I'm not doing anything wrong by taking her car and driving my friends all around. And I'm not doing anything wrong by like not giving extra energy to her because she broke her foot. Like, Mm -hmm. he, he just probably thought he was fine and then couldn't be convinced. Like when she started like voicing the problems that she was feeling, he just couldn't imagine the fact that this could be real, like that she could actually be feeling this way, you know, like, and then I think that after they broke up, he was like, oh, shit, like, I actually just lost her. She sucks. Like, and then tried to like blame, like internally blame her. And then, yeah, tell all of his friends this like really crazy story. Yeah, I feel like, too, it's such like a thing of control. Mm-hmm. Like where he thought that he had such control over her that it's like, she'll never leave me. I could treat her however I want. You know what I mean? Like I could do all of these things. I could take her car. I could do this. I could not help her with that. Like I don't need to do that. I could do what I want with my boys and like whatever. Mm-hmm. Forget about her. So her leaving, thank God that she did. But again, he probably was like, oh my God, like I wasn't in control. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. which could be damaging to like his fragile masculinity probably that he was like, I had control over this girl. And then he probably realized it after and was like, I have to come up with the story you know what i mean yeah a story that he can control yeah Yeah. exactly yeah no probably and it's like sad too because the relationship like the first example i i read was like about an abusive relationship this wasn't an abusive relationship it was just unfulfilling and the guy was just inconsiderate so he didn't abuse her physically but they just weren't meant to be and he just was not being like an amazing partner he was just not considering her needs whatsoever he was putting himself first in like every situation sure like you might look at them and be like oh it was simple situations like a weekend hanging out with friends But the thing is, when that happens all the time, like it's so easy to just fall into the trap of like, well, my relationship, it's not abusive and it's not toxic. But why am I? Why doesn't it feel good? Like, oh, it's because it's unfulfilling. And that's Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's equally as bad as being abusive or toxic, but like it is bad in in its own way. And it still means that you're not meant to be with that person. And I feel like those are the situations that are even easier to fall into because you're like, oh, well, it's good on like Fridays, but like every other day 
it sucks and none of my needs are being met and he's inconsiderate but like he's considerate one day of the week and like you like hold on to that Mm -hmm. and it's just not worth it but it's so hard to like take the actual steps that you need that you need to take to like end it especially if you live together yeah and it is borderline like toxic slash abusive i feel like if she was like saying things these things to him and he was like no like you're not gonna leave like you know what i mean like that is like totally like pretty much gaslighting to like that is you know actually like no like it's not that big of a deal like you're you're wrong like you know what i mean yeah so it does borderline that you know what i mean i feel like those terms could get get thrown around very easily anymore yeah. but also i feel like there's now a vocabulary to name what those types of behaviors are like yeah and obviously there's a huge spectrum mm-hmm. like toxic could mean like you know someone that's being like physically violent with someone and you know like all of that but like emotional abuse is just as bad mm-hmm. or you know what i mean like it's potato potato i guess or i don't know yeah don't know that's no that's a good point i but... didn't think about that yeah because i didn't i don't know like exactly how many times she told him like i I am leaving like maybe there was like times where she had like they were having conversations about like are we meant to be together and in those moments maybe she that maybe that's when she started saying like I think I'm gonna leave and he's like no 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 so like I don't know exactly how many times like she said to him in black and white I'm moving out I'm leaving you and we're mm-hmm. done and he's like no like you're not gonna do that so but I, it, it at least happened once yeah and it because sounds it like the day before she left I mean I think that it would have happened more than one time too yeah. especially because if she like had already planned with the landlord and like yeah this was a very pre-planned thing like you hear people that like leave overnight because of like a big fight and it's kind of like a rash thing and they're like i've mm-hmm. been feeling this way but like that was just it like i had to get out like i couldn't do it like yeah it sounded like she actually had this planned out so i would assume that she would have talked to him about it more than just like one time yeah you know i do think the guy is like in denial though or at least he was and you're so right about like the control like he is trying to just control this narrative because the fake narrative that he's making up in his head is the only thing that he has control over therefore it's the only thing that he can like cope with Mm -hmm. yeah crazy that's tough wow that's a good story though yeah it just like got me like that that line just like reminded me of that because like that is so true like i i feel like so many times you i mean that's the only thing in my actual life that i was like friends with the person that it happened to that the person said oh she just like i got home and all her stuff was gone but like what are the odds of that happening if you're in a completely healthy relationship? Like, I'm sure that happens one in a hundred times where it's a hundred percent. This person literally just like left you without one piece of evidence or like one clue. Right. Like, I think most of the time there's probably a reason for it. And if you were real with yourself and if an outsider looked at all the evidence, they'd be like, well, yeah, makes sense. Right. Like someone who like thought that they were in a great relationship and then realized they were being cheated on and they're like, I'm out. Like, I'm yeah. not doing this. Like, yeah, I would leave too. Like that you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but it's usually not just a random thing right yeah yeah 